Chess friends, the ironic moment in chess when you sacrifice a piece, your opponent thinks that it's a losing position for you, but you prove him wrong and your piece sacrifice become brilliant. Our today's video is just like that, Alpha Zero sacrificed his rook against me and an ironical moment happen, before starting the game, let me show you a chess puzzle, this is a 80 IQ puzzle, solve the chess variation and put answer in the comments, let's go, he started with a4, he wanna sacrifice his rook like this, so, e5, alpha played rook a3, blunder move and don't try this at your home, because it's an infinite percent risky move for you, I take the rook with my bishop, knight takes bishop. Knight goes to f6, alpha needs a defensive structure to survive the game from my attacks, bishop b2, or he can play e3, and d4, alpha played e3, castle we have d4, I could take the pawn, therefore takes, rook check, bishop blocks, but I choose to play d6, knight on f3, e5 by me, alpha brings back his knight, he want to put his knight on this location, I played knight c6, knight develops on e2, knight back to e7, I want to build my structure these following moves, c6, and d5, h3, c6 by me, knight goes to f4. Alpha is playing well being down a rook, not to open the position quickly, he can play c4, and bishop here, so, d5, c3, b6, c4, a5, pawn here, knight here, knight back to c2, alpha needs some more developing moves to get active in the game, also, he can extend his kingside pawns, I moved back my knight, pawn takes, takes, knight here, bishop here, bishop a6, castle, queen on e6, targeting on this pawn, so, alpha takes the bishop, rook takes a6, knight on d4, this is targeting on this knight, so you can't take this pawn. I take the knight, pawn takes knight, rook back to a7, knight back to e2, because of this structure, alpha gets a true masterpiece position for his bishop, white gets his permanent dark square to create some problems to black, queen to d7, bishop to f4, h6 by me, rook on e1, knight back to h7, bishop d6, rook here, knight here, alpha want to play rook here, then rook g3, develop your knight to target on this g-file and the g-pawn, the queen have also the h5 square, to create different type of problems to black. So, knight back to f8, I want to play knight here to kicking out this problem, rook up to e3, alpha wants to play rook here to target this, bishop e5 to join the battle, queen to h5, to creating problem on h-pawn, pawn can't take the queen because rook will firing on the king, so here we have queen to f5 to protect that square, queen up to d2, knight on e6, knight takes knight, queen takes e6, f3, you know it, pawn can't take it because of this, so king h7, queen slides to e2, I played f5. Try to stabilizing my position, alpha closes the position by playing f5, queen on f7, bishop to e5, alpha makes a powerful position for his bishop, looks like it's a shield of fairy tales, guarding the white who is down a rook, however I can attack. It by playing g5, try to open up the g-file, then use your full potential on this g-file of your rooks, so, rook to g8, queen on d2, alpha can play rook g3, king here, to counter attack, and if I play g5, then these squares will be a battlefield, white's king on there, so the king needs a safe place to hide, here I strikes the kingside with g5, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel, then you can like and subscribe to get more episodes, rook goes to g3, if you take the pawn. Then bishop takes, the h pawn will be target for white, also the a pawn will be a target for the queen, which is slightly bad, so I played best move g4, if you think, pushing the pawn is the best move because it closes the position, then black will bring his queen to eat the h pawn, and white can't protect the h pawn, which will be very bad for you, so, in this position, alpha takes the pawn, pawn takes, queen e1, queen g6, I want to push my h pawn, so king f2, queen here, king goes to e2. The black is occupying the king side, he will push his pawns and white is just trying to save the king from volcano, ok, queen h4, king back to d1, h5, king c2, rook slides to f7, king b2, rook to f8, 
the rook batter is targeting on this pawn, I will take the pawn to open the position and start attacks to the king, and I have three passed pawns which is very good, bishop to d6 by alpha, rook takes pawn, bishop takes rook, rook takes bishop, king up to a3, queen comes here to h2, I think I played a mistake move. Alpha can play queen takes a5, to check the king, the king have no proper guard, queen c7 check, king here, queen takes pawn check, anyway, alpha 0 missed queen takes a5 because he is not stockfish, he played rook e3, so, queen takes g2, queen goes to h4, king g6, queen to e7, rook f7, queen d6 check, king here, queen takes, queen goes to d2, targeting on this rook, and you cannot save your rook, for example, if you think rook g3 is okay, then queen c1 check, this square is occupied by the pawn, so king here, rook f2 check and mate, game will be over, so, in this position, I already told you, alpha can't save the rook, so he played rook e2, because after queen takes rook, black can't play forcing checkmate on queen c1, king here, rook check, so, queen takes d5, Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.